Clashlings, how's it going? Uh, this is Clasher Clan here. Um, today, bringing you the second episode of my Quest 2800 Trophy series. Um, the push starts tomorrow, and we can start at 2300 trophies um, for the League of Clans push. So I'm going to try and get to 2300 today and leave it at that. Showing you guys a couple of defense replays. Um, I did lose three since I since the last episode. I got three starred, which was a bit of a bummer, but I did get two wins. Um, so I'll show you guys those ones. So this guy, um, we have Jacob, and I'm not too sure what he was trying to do with those healers because he dropped them. Uh, one of them got shot down. I guess he was um gonna drop his hogs, but he thought about the clan castle or something. So he did delay that. He lost um a healer in the beginning. But he's dropping his heal spells um, and rage spells just everywhere. I don't even think he has a strategy. Um, he wastes a rage spell on, rage spell on the top. Um, honestly, this guy, I, like I said, I don't really know what he was trying to do. Um, but my base did work quite well. Um, I guess he didn't really have a good strategy though. But it did work quite well. But it was a bit of a pain because I did not get a shield. But it was lucky that I logged on right after I got attacked reset my bombs and stuff because I got attacked about two hours after this. Um, so 34% I got 20 trophies from that. He got um, almost no resources so it's pretty pointless for him. Um, but the next one we've got Southwest. He used Hog Rider as, as well. <clears throat> as you can see he just uh, spammed them on the top dropped a lightning spell there, he dropped a couple of dragons, I think what he was trying to do is um, get his hog riders to go to the center so they can take out the air defense, but obviously that didn't work very well, my clan castle again going to work, um, I'm lucky that I refilled that, he's dropping his barbarians from his clan castle, uh, dropping some dragons, got some archers filing out of the clan castle there, couple of Mordars take out the archers. He's got his dragons doing work on either side of the base. All of his hog riders are dead, as you can see. He's level level um eleven level eleven sorry barbarian king going to work and level eleven arch queen shooting in a wall as archer queens do because archer queens are stupid. Uh thirty nine percent as you can see. I was lucky because this guy gave me a shield, which I like. Archer Queen breaking through a wall. He's pretty desperate for the 50% here because he let his Archer Queen die. But I would have just let her die. Um, just surrender there and let her live, unless he wanted some elixir or something. But there we go. I won 23 cups from that. Um, he got about 200,000 resources, which wasn't too bad. I'm not really after resources in the cup push. But we're at 2269 trophies from those two defensive wins. I'm rocking a barbarian and archer strategy at the moment. Um, you can see my barracks composition here. I use four lightning spells and I just go for the 50%. I read a thread on the forums from I think it was Big Howie or something. Um, he is a forum moderator. He recently got the 3700 trophies using barbarians and archers um, and a couple of lightning spells. So I'm going to try that. Um, I've had a lot of success with it. I dropped down to 2100 and got up to here in about four or five hours um, just with Barch. So I'm quite confident with it. I do use Bem a lot, as you'll see in my Let's Play. So um, it's just minus the minions. Anyway, we're going to the first raid here. I'm um, going for the 50% on the outside. This wasn't a very um, tough base, but we got AJ Hardy 8 here. Uh, as you can see, just luring out his Archer Queen, Barbarian King, and Clan Castle. <coughs> Trying to lure them all to one location. As you can see. Dropping an archer over there. Um, he did have a hidden Tesla there, which was a bit of a pain because I did lose quite a bit of troops luring them over. But I'll just drop a lightning spell on his clan castle then. Take away a bit of the health from the archer clan. I'll drop a few archers here. And some barbarians. Just spamming them. Um, a couple of archers as well. Take out his heroes and that giant flipped over from the clan castle. Drop a couple more barbarians. 29 trophies here available, so if I one star this guy, I should get what, like, 8 trophies, I think? If my math serves me correctly, which it usually doesn't. 
But there we go, um, his heroes and clan castle is down and this will leave me to um, one star the base. So what I do is I deploy a um, just a thin line of barbarians with one finger and a thick line of archers behind and that seems to work quite well for me because the barbarians tank, all the defences are focused on them and because I've got a thick line of archers behind they can quickly take out um, everything while the barbarians are being focused on by the defences. So as you can see, thin line of barbs, thick line of archers, I'll drop everything on my top here because I'm pretty confident in getting the one star. It works very very well. I'll drop my clan castle there. Um, it only had two archers in it. Sadly my request didn't get filled but that's quite okay. It's not an issue at all. So 49% here. Sorry, my voice is getting a bit croaky. Uh, I got the 50%, so I'm going to surrender here. It gave me 9 trophies, so my math was wrong. The loot bonus is um, starting to get quite nice up here, so I'll escape with the loot bonus. Next, we got Sherry R here. Just turn my volume down a bit loud. This was quite a tough base. I was at a bit of a um, dilemma of whether or not to attack this base, but in the end, I did decide he did have a lot of... Um, buildings on the outside, so it was worth it. Uh, Luring out his clan castles here, um, if I had some advice for this guy's base to start, what I'd do is, when he's at a bit of a high cuff range, swap over the Dark Elixir tank in the middle with the clan castle. Because Dark Elixir doesn't really matter up here, because you've got so much of it. Uh, but with this base, it'll be quite nice one starring this base, I do expect to be go wiped back as a revenge or something, because not many people like being barged. I know I wouldn't. We're just luring his clan castle uh, up to the top, I'll drop some barbs, drop my clan castle. I've got a few wizards in the clan castle, which is what I like to have as Big Howie does. Uh, he had a thread, as I said before, on how to use barch up here. He only really has uh, wizards and archers in his clan castle, they can take out the, the, uh, the um, opposition clan castle troops and heroes very, very quickly. So you're doing my regular barge strategy here. Hopefully I can get really, really high up with this, but with the unbarge strategy, like I said, I'm aiming for 2,800 cups. But I reckon if I polish it, I could probably make 3,000. But that is um, big ambitions for a Town Hall 9. 3,000 cups would be quite nice to see as a Town Hall 9. Not many Town Hall 9s can get past 300, so 3,000 um, would be quite good for me. Why is it 300? But as you can see, I'm at 40% here. We have got the air defences um, pretty much exposed. There's no walls covering them. But I think what I'm going to do, as I took out the mortar on the top of the two lightning spells um, at the beginning of the raid, I am going to drop some archers on those dark elixir pumps. Uh, 48% I'll probably have to drop my archer queen. I probably should have dropped my barbarian king to tank so my archer queen didn't get uh, hurt or anything. But she's going to take out the cannon there and going to go for the air defense while she's being shot at by that archer tower. Luckily I didn't have to deploy my barb king but I really would have loved to save her health. So I'm going to surrender there. I've got 50%, uh, 10 trophies, again a nice lead bonus and a little under 100,000 resources. So for this for next raid here, we've got jun79.kim, I guess. Uh, down all 9, 30 cups available, so one star will give me 10 trophies, which is quite nice. Woo! Regular bomb, regular um, bar strategy again. <clears throat> Ooh, Santa surprise, he's not going to be very happy, but he's trying to save that. I know, I'm trying to save mine. Mine got, um, my Santa surprise got taken down in a, um, defense early, and I wasn't very happy. Because if that happens, um, when the new update's out, I'm going to be losing it, and I'll just have the presents, so. I'm going to try and save that best I can. 49% anyway, back to the raid, um, I'll just drop pretty much all my archers here on that gold storage and take that out. Um, 10 trophies from the 50% as you can see, and we're going to head back to base here, I'm at 2298 trophies, uh, I'm going to go buy a one day shield here, yes call me a gem or whatever, um, 
because I don't really want to go down in cups before League of Clans starts. Just request some wizards here. Okay. So I'm pretty keen for League of Clans. I really, really do hope that I can make 2800 cups. It would be amazing. Um, so this is the clan I'm in right now, DTP. Uh, as I said, we all start at 2300 cups, so we're going to be trying to get up there. And it's just a five day push to go as high as we can. I've been talking to a couple of clan members from um, different clans that we are going up against in this League of Clans. Um, and they're really keen as well. We're all saying goodbye to each other, so it's good sportsmanship. But as you can see, um, I'll see you all. I'll see all you guys next episode. My base is prepped. I'm pumped, and I'm keen to get to it. Peace out, guys. See you next time. Ain't nobody got time for that.